Well, what's up again, guys? Normally, I would do a reaction video for this, but to be honest, I didn't want to talk or make comments or go, oh, wow, for something like this, because it's actually a cinematic trailer. They just released, and I found this out on ComingSoon.net, and I will link it in the description below, the official release date for Uncharted The Lost Legacy, August 22nd, and man, am I so excited. The Uncharted series, I will admit, when they first came out, I wasn't a super big fan. I even watched them get Game of the Year and everything. I'm like, well, they don't seem that special. And I know, I know. Bad me. I should have totally not done that and everything, and I, I, I feel ashamed. But I did get into them, and I was actually a fan before the fourth one came out. And when the fourth one came out, that is the sole reason why I bought my PS4, was to get Uncharted 4. And I gotta say, that was my best, one of my best purchases ever. Uncharted 4, to me, is a 10 out of 10 all the way. I've, I had one or two bugs when I playing it, but I just, I love that game. I love the graphics, the scenery, the story, the acting, everything. It's just beautiful. And when I heard that this would be the last game for Nathan Drake, I was like, oh man, seriously? I just started getting into these games, and there's only... Four main games and one side game, you know, for the PlayStation Vita that I haven't played yet. And it really got me into being a fan of Nolan North as well. So, and oh yeah, and Uncharted 4, Troy Baker did an amazing job too, even though he's technically younger than Nolan North, but he had to play older than him. Anyway, this one, if you don't know, it stars Chloe Frazier, and she's going off her own adventures with Nadine Ross. Playing that's going to be a little hard because Nadine Ross, all she does throughout Uncharted 4 is kick your ass. So why would you want to team up with her? But it does, it begs the question, it does bring up questions like why is Chloe going out and doing this kind of thing and everything when she was the one who was solely against half the stuff that Nate did in Uncharted 2 and 3. Hell, she bails, which is okay because Carter hurts his leg, but she leaves the hunt for Uncharted 3 and in 2 she wants to leave when she finds out it's too dangerous. But also the fact of playing as, you know, um, Chloe, that's an interesting idea. I like that. I like that we're going, they're trying to continue the series with a new protagonist. To me, that is really cool, and I really, really enjoy that. And I'm super, super excited. I have no problem. I don't play online or anything in that, but I have no problem spending the money to get this. This is a definite buy for me. I don't know about you, but for me, this is a definite buy. I will buy it as soon as I can because oh man I am fuming there's a fuse that is lit and as soon as the release date hits boom I'm gonna buy it if you guys are big fans too you'll probably buy it as well leave a comment down below tell me how excited are you for this new Uncharted game it's not a new Uncharted game it's a DLC and everything but I'm super excited because as soon as this comes out all attention of Naughty Dog is focused on The Last of Us 2 The Last of Us Part 2 and oh don't get me started on that <laughs> Naughty Dog, you're whooping ass, and I hope you continue to whoop ass and everything. Like and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching. Have a more phenomenal day.